Hey, we are counting down the days, folks. The return of the Atlanta Pride Parade is almost upon us, and you know a big part of the parade is the Grand Marshal. Absolutely. So each year there's a committee that chooses several representatives, and this year, get this, Lana, there are seven of them. One of those Grand Marshals happens to be Paul Conroy, the artistic director for Outfront Theater. Don Shipman has his story. Queen of the Desert. I mean, there's just tons and tons of shows, and we don't keep everything. There's, it's just impossible to. Just a few short weeks, Outfront Theater Company will raise the curtain on their sixth okay. season. A lot goes into it. A lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Founder Paul Conroy started the West Midtown Theater in 2016 with a laser-focused mission aimed at telling the stories of the LGBTQIA plus community. To me, it seemed really odd with Atlanta being essentially the capital of the South that we didn't have a theater dedicated to telling those stories on a consistent basis. Conroy says people drive more than two hours to see their plays, musicals, concerts, and even drag shows. But for nearly two years, the pandemic forced them to keep their doors closed. The theater industry across the country has not bounced back. But Outfront's newest season could change that. Right now, the cast and crew is in the midst of rehearsal for, can you guess what show it is? That's right, Kinky Boots, opening night, October 20th. <laughs> Kinky Boots tells the story of a man who inherited his family's shoe factory and enlisted the help of a drag queen to save the business. Along the way, the two become friends. It's, it's theater that really talks about something is wonderful. I think us as a society right now are still longing for comfort and joy and music. Conroy will represent out front, serving as one of the Grand Marshals for Atlanta's Pride Parade, back after a two-year COVID hiatus. I fully admit when they called me last year that I started to cry. He says being picked to be a part of the parade reinforced to him that what his theater is doing matters. It made up for all of the late nights and all of the you know, the days that we were closed during the pandemic and all the times of how are we gonna stretch a buck to make things work. In West Midtown, Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. I see you moving to that music. Yeah, Not I just am, you, but... Lana. <laughs> the people at home are doing it too. Hey, you can catch Kinky Boots at the Outfront Theater. That's October 20th through November 5th. Now, if you're wondering what Pride events there are, which ones you should go to, here's some for your calendar this week. The Pride on the Square celebration is going down at Colony Square on Friday at 6 o'clock. 2022 Pride kickoff is at the Georgia Aquarium on Friday at 7 o'clock. The Big Bang, mm. the Pride Festival happening all weekend, and the parade on Sunday at noon will wind through downtown Atlanta. It is going to be an amazing time. For a full list of Pride-related events, we have them for you at AtlantaNewsFirst.com. And you know we can't wait to be out there. We're going to be out there Sunday, Lana, and I. I'm not going to tell you where we're going to be, but just know we're going to get <laughs> to see some of the action first. And you'll be able to see it, too, as long as you watch it all unfold on Peachtree TV. Shameless plug. But just you want to see it. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah.